Now I want to introduce the last panelist of, the, of uh, this session. Um, it's my colleague, friend, uh, Daniel Bruins. He's an art historian, curator, and writer. He studied art history at Trnava University in Slovakia. And in 2009, he completed his PhD thesis on art criticism of the 1960s in Czechoslovakia. He cooperated the first international retrospective, Julius Koller, One Man Anti Show, uh, which travels through uh, Central Europe and uh, has been written on artist archives, self historization, and legacy of neo avant garde, neo avant gardes. Currently, he's working as associate professor at the Academy of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava and the Institute of Art History, Slovak Academy of Science. In addition, he is in charge of the Julio Scholar Society, lives and works in Bratislava. He widely uh, published, so I will just mention um, a couple of publications. He, he's the author or editor of, uh, among uh, the most recent contributions are what will be already exist, temporalities of Cold War archives in Central East Europe and beyond. Um, White Space in White Space, uh, 1973 to 1982, Stanov Rokomil Šlaki and Jan Zavarsky. Uh, or the contribution to the, the catalog Czechoslovak concept art of the 1970s, or subjective histories, self historization as artistic practice in Central East Europe. So, Tomasz, Daniel, Tomasz Strauss, there's another book, <laughs> Tomasz Strauss, Beyond the Great Divine Essays on European of Our Guides from East to West. So, Daniel. Please come before I make more mistakes. <laughs> shall I shall I help you open this here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for your kind introduction and thank you for uh, inviting me here for this conference. Um, so this is my topic, um, and I will go directly to, to the first slide. So the advertising image of Bratislava City Theatre's new season suggested a um, stained glass window, <clears throat> a reference to the Stalinist era decorations uh, of the theatre by Slovak modernist painter Janko Alexi. Advertising replaced the uh, workers by young people marching below Ukrainian anti-fascist and rainbow flags. <clears throat> the main message of our image was just to show very liberal young people today in Bratislava happy and content under these flags, but also somehow forgetful uh, lessons of the past about authoritarianism and dictatorship, theater director Schulzova said. Elections within the authoritarian party's mayor and its potential far right lies have also worked to make LGBTQ plus rights a central issue of the uh, recent election elections. Moreover, their victory was helped by the long-standing pro-Russian sentiment recently inflamed by war in Ukraine and a systematic disinformation campaign run by Kremlin uh, that has flooded social media in Slovakia. Ivan Krastev and Stephen Holmes, in their book, The Light That Failed, a Reckoning, provide a disturbing uh, answer to the question of where imitation of the means and ends of Western liberalism has led the former communist countries. And social symptoms of a cultural um, a conversion to values, customs and attitudes considered normal in the West have uh, resulted in the rise of populism and illiberal politics. The second and third decade, decade uh, of the new millennium in East Central Europe is characterized by the authors uh, 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 by an anti-liberal uh, turn that takes on the concrete features of national conservatism and inevitably translates into the, into the articulation of values in culture, politics of memory and civil society. Uh, by archival concerns, 
I understand here, uh, in reference to how Foster's essay Archival Impulse, the practices of contemporary art focused on complicated temporalities of the apparatuses uh, representing cultural memory, and I see these uh, practices as uh, alternative returns to unfulfilled beginnings and unfinished projects. Recently, this debate uh, was re reopened by Claire Bishop's text uh, published in Art Forum under the title Information Overload, devoted to the critique of research-based art. But uh, I dare say uh, that in, uh, uh, in the anti-liberal societies of post-communist Europe, archival and research-based art had different points of departure. Archival impulse did not automatically result in transi transition of visual art to databases, but rather in emergence of tangible connections between archival order and discontinuity uh, of, uh, of the histories in former Eastern Europe. Uh, the order or disorder of contemporary archival works thus comes into conflict with the politics of memory, which is the background of culture wars in relation to contemporary social crisis. Uh, disappearance of prospective social utop utopias, uh, which are replaced by retrospective fantasies, is uh, manifested above all in the sphere of contemporary art. The term ret retro-utopia describes of, uh, uh, activities of Irving Group in the 1990s and refers to the transformation of, uh, artist, of the artist's relationship to the political and artistic utopia uh, of uh, the avant-garde. By initiating uh, Irving action, the iconic symbol of avant-garde modernism, the black square uh, from Kazimir Malevich's painting, come into contact with the symbolic center of the collapse, collapsed Soviet state, Moscow's red square. Roman Undak's uh, escape parking also involves physical and symbolic transfer of, ob of objects, but uh, on the territories uh, of neighboring countries, Slovakia and Austria. Uh, whose border was formed by uh, the, uh, the Iron Curtain between 1948 uh, till 1989. Uh, Czechoslovakian made uh, Škoda cars were exhibited in 2001 uh, as part of the exhibition Ausgeträumt uh, in Vienna's secession. Parked and unused Škoda cars refer simultaneously to the building as an institution and to the economic decline of Czechoslovakia, it's out of syn synchrony with Western European developments. SK parking has uh, become um, a temporary monument to immobility and uh, underdevelopment, but also to the time travel, because uh, by the merging of two different uh, parallel temporalities. Uh, now I would like to uh, mention two works uh, that uh, discuss uh, uh, public urban space and uh, the ways in which uh, hierarchies uh, or, and politics of memory are established. Both works problematize the status of public sculpture from two different perspectives. Aneta Monachisha and Lucia Tkachova juxtapose a comparably sized sculpture of intestine against well-known head. For Marx's head alone signals an undigested past. The metaphor of digestion is a seductive one. Uh, it captures uh, the sense in which events uh, of the past have seemed doomed to persist and haunt us in public life and politics. The other work, uh, the second work by Maciej Gabula, uh, it, uh, again uh, opens up uh, the theme of socialist ruins. Uh, he creates an opportunity uh, for their second life from the deposit of uh, 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 from the city deposit uh, of a discarded Danube promenade uh, as a tribute to, uh, to Pozho and Pressburg born uh, choreographer Rudolf, Rudolf uh, Lavan. Um, from the perspective of media archaeology, uh, archive uh, escapes metaphor for collective memory and is about administrative and legal memory rather than recollection. Wolfgang Ernst argues that uh, archi the archive is a mnemonic apparatus in the technological sense, whereas remembering is an active energy that thus leads archival testimony outside the archive. In contrast to uh, uh, other memory institutions, such as library uh, or museum, archives are strictly rural governed and administratively programmed systems, subject to uh, often strict internal laws 
the closed nature of archives is not only uh, about suppressing information, but equally uh, about protecting it. Uh, recurrent position of archive between order and chaos also interests uh, Sven Speaker, author of the key monograph of, uh, on the subject of archives and art. The archives always faces threat of destruction to some extent, whether we uh, think of floods, fires, uh, or other disasters causing decay, which may ultimately also be result of the degradation and obsolescence of storage media, or the result uh, of, tran of transfer of data from one technology to another. Entropy is no longer merely result of this disruption of symbolic order, but the, uh, the effect of deliberate elimination of cultural heritage. Part of the, of the Russian war against uh, Ukraine is precisely physical destruction of monuments uh, of often immense cultural value. Uh, the study of a regime consisting uh, of set of archival practices helps us to identify specific forms of violence that, are, uh, ar uh, that the archive serves, incorporates, moderates, standardizes, and regulates uh, as its own role in reproduction of uh, uh, imperial conditions. Uh, already mentioned uh, by uh, Tomasz uh, Ariela Azulai's book, uh, uh, Azulai caution, uh, cautions us not to consider uh, the archive as merely uh, an institution that preserves the past. She proposes defining archive as a, a commonplace based uh, on the right of citizens to access and interact with the archive. According to Azulai, archival documents are not objects uh, of a completed past, but rather active elements in the present. The central object of uh, the Invisible Museum, that you can see it on the slide, was conceived by Otto Budetz uh, as, the shape, uh, as the shape of a house. Scaled down to the dimension of uh, exhibition space, the house is a symbolic home for a fictional museum collection uh, that could potentially represent culture and history of Roma people. In addition to reinforcing self-esteem uh, of Roma communities from within, the museum could serve as a place of dialogue and uh, mutual respect. The shape and form uh, of the Herr House is not uh, very different from other houses, rather it is defined by the economic possibilities uh, of its owner. What makes Hudet's uh, model specific, however, is that it is not anchored in the ground. Instead of a foundation, it is built on four pillars of raw ivory bricks. Instead of uh, stable partitions, the walls are made up uh, of patterned textiles uh, with Roma pictograms, which are the result of artist collaboration with young people during creative workshops. Two pairs of wooden uh, wheeled aisles are immobilized parked side by side. Uh, the inside of the house is adapted into a stage where conversations are projected and testi uh, testifies to strong representation of oral, oral memory, uh, which is alive and uh, changing in Roma culture. Uh, because of its fragmentary and associative character, uh, Invisible Museum's organizing principle is not subject to the ownership of, of a building or a collection, but takes into account about all issues of uh, decolonization. It opens up a new space, which is not uh, uh, the, the exclusive presentation of artifacts of Roma culture, but a discourse on the, on the pre uh, presentation of excluded communities as such something that until uh, then state established institutions have not been able to fully realize at least in Slovakia. Uh, the potential uh, of invisible museum uh, may lie uh, in the fact that it aims to establish a hybrid form of institution motivating research uh, in the subaltern and diasporic cultures while at the same time exploring what contemporary Roma culture could be uh, all about and how we can transform it into an active social critical agent. Uh, artist and activist Tomáš Rafa has been dealing uh, for several years uh, now with the question of uh, what to do with the wall that uh, the municipal government builds between two groups of inhabitants. 
In contrast to work of Otto Bodetz, the central motive of uh, Tomasz Rafa's project discussed here is motive of the wall as a given and immovable boundary. A border uh, that can only be physically bypassed or transformed. Here I am dealing with uh, a series of video films and photographs that record uh, happenings initiated by the artist, which were carried out alongside the newly built walls separating Roma community from majority population. Uh, the, the entire series is titled Wall of Walls of Sports and was produced between 2009 and 2013 in several locations. Title of the series was ironically appropriated by the author from the name introduced by local governments, because this, uh, this, this uh, designation was meant to suppress their problematic nature in public communication. Thomas Schaffer's documentary films uh, are arranged in two units and are accessible to the public in, in the form of an, an online archive on two web platforms. Uh, New Nationalism, the documentary uh, video film, uh, video archive, documentary video arch archive, uh, focuses mainly on, on, the on the geopolitical space of Central and Central Eastern Europe, uh, including Germany and Ukraine. It presents a large body of documentary films shot between 2009 and 2019, depicting events in public spaces, most often demonstrations and escalated uh, public clashes. Uh, the second uh, set of documents, documentaries uh, from 2011 to 2022, uh, focusing on activities in excluded communities, such as uh, Wars of Sport series, can be found on web platform Art Activist, subtitled Art Therapy in Socially Excluded Locations. A uh, symbolic uh, level of sports walls uh, also has a subversive aspect. Since the walls are the property of municipality and the municipality is not only responsible for their construction, but also approves a final form of the painting. Do sports walls make visible something that would otherwise seem natural to everyone? What is the role of documentary film and photography in relation to collective art event itself? The concrete walls in Rafa's photographs are high and intimidating. What Tomasz Rafa records about all is a great work happening. Uh, he uses a selection of uh, uh, unpretentious motives, uh, colors uh, of the rainbow, uh, uh, repeating uh, enlarged football motifs, the silhouettes of players and symbol uh, of Roma flag. Concrete brutality of the segregation wall uh, does not uh, disappear behind the mural. It can only be overcome by repeated human activity uh, which is which will uh, uh, eventually lead to the wall being removed. Uh, Rafa is using using digital film medium uh, just to document his activities, not as a means of creating a critical film essay. In fact, uh, the aim is not to explore a selected community, but to create alternative dialogical structures such as workshops, therapy, uh, biennials uh, on the spot. Uh, they are uh, um, continuously. They are uh, continuously recorded. Uh, his archive uh, does not focus exclusive, exclusively on life uh, in Roma communities, but traces zones of contact. Rafa is interested in possibilities of activating activating uh, creative potential. Uh, Lucia Nitsova has long been uh, dealing with uh, uh, the historical and contemporary conditions of uh, life of Carpathian Rusins from uh, the Slovak-Ukrainian border barrier. From the beginning, her work has been marked uh, by tradition of amateur photography in her hometown of Humenden in Eastern Slovakia. Uh, the construction of gender, ethnic and uh, historical identity in medium of documentary photography and subsequently also in video films, sound recordings, and performative, performative screenings is important for her work. Nitsova is fascinated by recurring motives, gestures, and rituals. Exploration of archives helps her to grasp the uh, construction of social roles to reveal symbolic form of public life, collective identity on the socialist and post-socialist periphery. 
Working with the photographic archives became urgent for Nimtsova when she realized how the constitution of the past predetermines the present. Uh, when processing and sorting photographic material, she often combines photographs found in family albums or in archives uh, of regional institutions uh, with her own interventions, uh, inventories, comments, and interpretations. Documentation of official culture is intertwined with everyday working environments, privacy, and everyday life. Lucia Nimsova reveals uh, residual significance uh, of the archives of regional institutions and inserts uh, new potential meanings within her own work. In, uh, in Nimsova's work, uh, one can trace uh, so-called performative memory uh, a transmitted line of continuity in, uh, in which past events are perpetuated through poses, gestures, movements, etc., of depicted characters. Female protagonists of her photographic cycles are found in obscure circumstances and bizarre environments on the periphery. Performativity of memory is therefore a dynamic process where photographic material uh, literally gets into motion and cannot be easily reduced to a static memorial in traditional sense. Uh, in Lucia Nimtsova's recent works, women uh, get their own voice, uh, they tell stories, sing songs, emphasizes is on oral history and emotional recollection. Since 2014, she has been uh, building her own archive of photographs, videos and audio recordings, uh, on the territory of Western Ukraine. In, co in contrast to uh, traditional documentary practices, artists prefers to describe her work as a folk opera or collection of songs, stories, music, performance, and field recordings that exist that exists uh, somewhere between ethnographic, documentary, and musical theater. Uh, what these three artists working with uh, the, the archive have in common uh, is their passion for a lived experience and their simultaneous exploration uh, of uh, interconnected systems of oppression. Interconnected systems of oppression reinforce and amplify each other, creating compound forms of discrimination. Otto Budetz builds on uh, the power of story, uh, song and poetry to help envisioning of an institution decolonizing education and museum. Uh, it, had, it aims to give voice to marginalized Roma communities by strengthening, strengthening certain narratives and discussing stereotypical images. This work is therefore more of an uh, allegory of the mobile archive. In contrast, uh, the uh, online archive uh, created by Tomas Rafa traces so-called zones of contact within socially excluded communities and the neighboring majority. Rafa is interested in the possibilities of activating uh, creative potential on site. Lucia Nimtsova proposes oral and sung histories of Russian women uh, living in remote uh, rural places. Since the colonial practice emphasizes the need to deconstruct and challenge structures of power, such as archive, I will summarize using two its main concepts, archival care and archival concern. The Greek word uh, epimelia can be translated into English as care as well as concern. Uh, it can be seen as a call for reflection, uh, for rediscovery and re-evaluation of inherited stereotypes. Archival concerns go beyond uh, uh, the physical preservation of records and extend to ethical, legal, and administrative aspects of archive, archives. Um, care differs from concern in the sense of looking after, such as uh, answering uh, the common good, creating safe spaces, inclusive practice, and uh, uh, synthesizing re relationships. Concern and care are close to each other, yet Concern goes beyond care uh, for what we might characterize as fears, doubts, and mistrust uh, of cultural, social, and economic structures established on the basis of nation state legacies. Care, along with, uh, along with uh, 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 adjective uh, radical care, appears increasingly in discussions on art, labor, and collective endeavor. Efforts to bring about uh, positive social change 
now constitute a global phenomenon of engaged uh, of uh, engagement in in a variety of fields. In relation to self determination, the concept of self care is offered, which could uh, otherwise be defined as a parallel to decolonial practice. Uh, it means uh, interrogating our, our deeply ingrained patterns and beliefs, challenging our role in systems of, uh, that perpetuate capitalism and nationalism, developing uh, consciousness of hypersensitivity to language and dialogical forms of exchange. Uh, the concept of self-care is also linked to uh, collective uh, therapy in which art workshops can uh, act and promote uh, historical consciousness and cultural self-management uh, at the same time. It may seem to one uh, uh, that uh, care uh, pre precede, uh, precedes uh, the archive, as if it were inherent in the establishment of ar uh, archives in their systematic sorting and organizing that culminates in archival order. Linking practice uh, of contemporary art to archival concerns is therefore significant in that uh, the result is not necessarily some sort of archival archival order. A concern for archive uh, can be called a decolonial practice because archive, as such, is a colonial project, and concern represents the preoccupation with violence on which the existence of archive is based. Thank you.